This is JC with Beyond 20. Today we're going to look at some of the email settings, uh, taking a look at both ShareWell and ServiceNow and, and seeing how they're similar or uh, different or both. So on the ShareWell side, if you go into the email and event monitoring, I'm going to go into the edit email accounts and settings here. Now here's where you can add your email account. Well, with ShareWell, it utilizes an account that you've already got set up in your environment. Um, for the for today's examples, I'm going to be using Office 365, but you can set it up with any uh, through Pop, IMAP, or Exchange. And so if we go into the one I've already created, you can see it asks some basic questions about what's your Exchange domain, your server client address, your user and password, and some additional items. We also have the from settings, um, so allowing it to send from that address as well. Now, one thing I want to point out is it does have this test account button here. Now, in ShareWell, in some of the versions, uh, this test account button will not really give you the correct information. So well, it does try to do a test. It may say that it failed when it didn't actually fail. And so if that's the case, what I'm going to do is show you a way to double check to see if it's working. So once you've got an email account set up, you can go into the email and event monitoring manager and you can create a new monitor here. So I'm going to go into one that I've already created. And right down here, when an email message has been processed or when there's an error occurred, you can actually, you can just delete the message. You can mark it as read or you can move it to a folder. Now, whatever option you choose, if you want to test to make sure that that account is actually properly working, if you click the move to folder, and then you're gonna click the drop down, this should show you the list of folders for that account. So what I often like to do is set up two separate folders in my inbox, one for messages that are processed and one for messages that an error occurs. So that way, if there's ever an instance where someone has stated that uh, an email came in that didn't create a ticket, I can see uh, if it went to Office 365 um, and then was it processed or was it, did it given error out? And then if it aired out, then I can start checking logs to see why did this error out? and get a better idea. So it's just a, an easier way to be able to check for those things. Now, if we take a look on the ServiceNow side, it's gonna be a little bit different here. So the way ServiceNow does emails coming in is that um, it actually, when you get a new instance, you are given a new email account. The email account is gonna be whatever domain ServiceNow is given to you. So it might often your company name and then it'll be at service-now.com. Um, this will be the case unless you're a FedRAMP customer, uh, and then it might be um, your domain at servicenowservices.com. Now, with this, what the best practice is, is to take your internal email account and then set up a forward on that account to send it to the ServiceNow address. And what this will allow you to do then is if there's any errors, you'll be able to see was the error on the ServiceNow side, or was it on the Microsoft side? And so what I'll do is I'll go to sysemail.list. That's sys underscore email.list. And this will show me the logs for all of the emails. And so in it, I'll see any email that has gone into the ServiceNow system, any email that uh, leaves the ServiceNow system, and then if there's any errors through any of that, if it was ignored, maybe it had a bad attachment that ServiceNow didn't like, which we'll take a, take a look at in a different video. Um, maybe uh, it didn't like the recipients for some reason or didn't have access to send you an email uh, from an email address that you had put in. But whatever it may be, you'll be able to see it in the email log. Now, if that email didn't get to ServiceNow, perhaps because there was a Microsoft issue, um, maybe it was blocked by a spam filter or something else. Um, you can also check your uh, that email account that you had set up. So in my examples that I've given today, you can go into Office 365, go into Outlook, and verify that the email is actually there or if it's not. Um, and then also double check with Microsoft to see maybe there's an issue with forwarding or anything else. Um, and so that's 
couple of the basic items here with uh, the difference between ShareWell and ServiceNow. Once again, ShareWell, you use a pre-existing account uh, that you give the account information to ShareWell versus ServiceNow. It has its own email address that you would then, best practice say, you would forward onto that account. Now, if you don't want to forward onto the account, you don't have to. You could use POP3, um, but it's not, not as recommended. Um, I don't see it very often. Utilizing the one that's out of the box is usually going to be your best bet. Well, thank you for your time, and we'll hope to see you next time.